Linked list is a collection of nodes where each node is connected to the next node. The operating system maintains a special list called as away list. So what is the meaning of inserting? Inserting means adding a new element into the linked list. Data P number means which number, which item you are going to assign for inserting a node at the end of the list. We have to traverse from the beginning everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about linked list. So what is the meaning of linked list? Linked list is a collection of nodes where each node is connected to the next node through a pointer. Each node is connected to the next node through a pointer. Linked list is a collection of nodes where each node is connected to the next node through a pointer. So, the representation of linked list start is also called as head and is connect start is connected to the first node of the list. This is node 1, node 2 and node 3. So, here there is no extra element to connect this link. This is a null. Linked list is a collection of nodes where each node is connected to the next node through a pointer and linked list is having two parts that is data and link. In data part all the information will present and in link part it stores the address of the next node. So this is here, this is data part and this is link part. In data, I will add 10 and in link part, it stores the address of the next node and this is called as data and this is link part. This link part stores the address of the next node. This is the representation of linked list and also I have discussed about the types of linked list. Very important question, mainly there are three types of linked list. They are singly linked list doubly linked list and circular linked list. So these are the types of linked list I have discussed in my previous session and also I have discussed about the operations on operations of linked list. So I have discussed the first operation and I have discussed the creation operation and linked list can perform some operations that is creating a linked list, traversing a list and inserting a linked list and linked list can perform some operations that is creating a linked list and traversing and insertion, deletion, searching and merging. These are the operations can be performed in linked list. Also I have discussed the creation operation that is creating a linked list and traversing a linked list. Traversing means visit each node of the linked list exactly once. This is called as traversing operations. So today I am going to discuss about the next topic called memory allocation of a linked list. So what is the memory allocation of a linked list? We can call it as is a away list. What is the meaning of away list? Computer memory is a limited resource. Therefore, some mechanism is required for deleted nodes are available for future use. So, the operating system maintains a special list called as away list. So, computer memory is having limited resource. Therefore, some mechanism is required for deleting and inserting a node available for future use. That is what the operating system of the computer maintains a special list called as avail list that contains only the unused deleted nodes. This is called as avail list and whenever node is deleted from the linked list, memory is added to the avail list. Whenever node is deleted from the linked list, the memory is added to the avail list. So easily we can access the node. Away list is also called as the free storage list or free pool. So this is called as memory allocation to a linked list. And next we have 
insertion operations on linked list inserting a node into the linked list so what is the meaning of inserting inserting means adding a new element into the linked list and for inserting into a linked list we have three operations that is inserting a node at the beginning of the linked list and inserting a node at the given position and inserting a node at the end of the linked list inserting a node at the beginning of the list example here i am having two data two nodes that is node 1 and node 2 inserting a node at the beginning of the list here i am going to add one new item called 5 so here before the insertion of a new element the first node was n so here before the inserting of a new element the first node was 10 and second node was 20 after the inserting so this will become the first node 5 and it will connect to the next node so insertion at the beginning of the list and inserting a node at the given position example so here I have node 1 and node 2. This is null. Here I am going to add one item into this position. To this position. So this is n1 and this is n2. So before adding the new element to the linked list. So n1 is 10 and n2 is 30. After adding the new element called 20, so it will come to the node 2 position and it will become node 3. So this is called as inserting a node at the given position and inserting a node at the end of the list. Example, so first my node is, so this is n1, this is n2, so here the null is n2. So here I am going to add one element at the end of the list. So th before it was n1 and n2. Here it is null value because there is no extra element to link this list. So here I am going to add one more element. This is n3. After adding to this position this 20 node 3 will become the null. So, this is the inserting a node at the end of the list. Let us understand one by one with an algorithm. Inserting a node at the beginning of the linked list. Create one new node, create a node and fill data into the data field of the new node. Which item you are going to add into the linked list? You just fill the data into the data field and mark its pointer field as null. So, at the end you have to mark the pointer field and attach this newly created node to start. Why we have to attach at the start? Because we are going to insert a new at the beginning of the node and make the new nodes as a starting node. Algorithm for inserting a node at the beginning of the linked list. So, first we have to consider start P start contains the address of the first node. So, here N1 stores the address of the next node and this is N2 and this is N3. This is null. Here I will take 10, 15, 20. So, this is one example I am taking. P I will take as a new node that is which node I am going to inserting. I will link to the first node that is link of P is start. So start means the address of the first node. I will link this new node into the first node and data P number means which number which item you are going to assign that you have to enter. So which data you are going to assign that is phi I am going to assign into the first node and link of p from the start and start 
P. Automatically, this node will go to the first position. So, this will become N1 and N2, N3 and N4. So, this is the algorithm for inserting at the beginning of the linked list. Very simple. P, I will consider as a new node and data of P number, which item you are going to assign that you have to mention and link of P. So, this is my P new node that you have to link with a starting node and start P and return. So, this is very simple algorithm for inserting a node at the beginning of the list. And next we have inserting a node at the end of the linked list. At the end of the linked list. We can insert a node at the end of the linked list. To insert at the end, we have to traverse the linked list to know the address of the last node. For inserting a node at the end of the list, we have to traverse from the beginning till end of the list. Algorithm for inserting at the end of the linked list. So, first start and first node, node 1, 5, this is node 2, 10, and 15, this is node 3. So, here before inserting a new element at the end of the list, this N3 link has null value because there is no extra element to connect the node. So, identify the last node in the list. So, here the last node is 15 N3 and P start. It finds the address of the first node and while P is not equal to null, it will repeat till it reaches the end point. After executing the while loop, P points to the last node. After execution of this while loop, P points to the last node and N is a new node which N new node. So, which node you are going to add into the end of the list. So, this is the last node N4 and create a new node, copy the address of the pointer N. Create a new node and copy the address of the pointer. So, pointer address is null because it is a last node. Data N item, which item you are going to add at the end of the list and link N null. So, link this to the null value and link P N and link this last element. So, this will be the last element of the list. So, the final list is N1, N2, N3 and N4. This will be the link for this node N4 and return. And next we have garbage collection. Garbage collection means technique of collecting all the deleted items. Technique of collecting deleted space into the free storage list is called as garbage collections. All the deleted items has to be collected and operating system of the computer periodically collects all the deleted space into the free space is called as garbage collection. And next topic we have deleting an item from the linked list. How to delete an item from the linked list? So, we have three operations for deleting. Deletion of the first node, deletion of the last node and deletion of the node at the given position. So, first one we have deletion of the first node. How to delete the first node in a linked list? We can delete the first node of the list by changing the start to point the second node of the linked list. If there is only one node in the linked list, the start can be stored with null. If there is only one node in the linked list, the start can be stored with null value. How to delete the first node in a list? So, first I will consider an example list 1 is linked with another node 2 and is linked with another node 3. This is null. This is node 1 node 2 and node 3. Here we have three nodes. I am going to delete the first node of the list 
So P start, I am going to delete the first node and after deleting the first node, the second node will come to the first position that is N1 and the third node will come to the second position N2 and start link P. So, I will link this node to the second node. After deleting this first node, start will connect to the second node and free of P and return. So, after my deletion, this node will be deleting and the start will go to the second node called N2. So, this will become N1 and this is N2. This is the deletion of the first node in a linked list. And next we have algorithm delete at the end of the linked list. Delete end. P1, P2 start. We are considering P1, P2 start. This used two pointers called P1 and P2. Pointer P2 is used to traverse the linked list and pointer P1 keeps the location of the previous node of P2. Here P2 is very important. Why? Because it has to traverse from the beginning till end of the list to delete the last item of the linked list. So, first step start P2 start. So, here 70, 80 and 90. So, node 1, node 2 and node 3. Here, I am going to delete the last item called node 3. The data is 90, right. So, first P2 is start. So, I am going to start from the P2. P2 means pointer P2 is used to traverse the linked list. So, here which item I am going to delete here? The last item I am going to delete from the linked list. So, I will consider P2 is a pointer to traverse each and every element exactly once. So, it will check the condition while P2 is not equal to null. It will check the first node and again P1 to P2 and again it will check the last node. It travels from beginning till end of the list and while end print data of P2, print data of P2 and link with P1 that is which item you are going to delete that is the last item I am going to delete from the list and free of P2 and stop. So, here I am going to delete the last item before it was the third item in the list. So, null is the third item after deleting my third element in the list. So, this will be the null. So, here after deleting we have only two nodes that is N1 and N2. So, this is called as deletion at the end of the list. So, today we learned insertion at the beginning and end of the list and deletion at the beginning and end of the list and how to insert the element at the given position. So, here I have start connects with the first node second node and the third node. Here we have three nodes. Here if you want to add one new element at the given position, so you can point the position of the list. So, in which position you are going to add an item. So, these are the operations performed on linked list. With this, we have end of this topic called linked list. We have discussed linked list definition and types of linked list and operations can be performed on linked list. So, in my next session, I will come with a new concept called non-linear data structure. Already I have discussed linear data structure. Linear data structures are arrays, queues, linked list and stacks. So, in my next session, I will come with a new concept called non-linear data structure. Thank you.